Manny O of MJ's Barbershop in Bakersfield, California. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. And today, this is National Versace Day. This is the third pair going out. This is the Versace 4296 in color 5079, which is the matte black and the 59 eye size. Let me take everything out of the original packaging. Of course, you got your... Versace junk mail in a million different languages as many languages you can conceive of in there and then your international card of warranty your card of authenticity got your serial number on there you can register it of course your Italian leather Versace case and the star of the show the main attraction it is the 4296 in the matte black this is color Again, Versace 4296, color 5079 in the 59 eye size. It has the Greco emblem on the side. Comes with a bronze color lens. And as if you heard me say many times, sometimes the nicest glasses come as sunglasses. So we just got to take the lenses out and make them clear. So I'm going to pop out your original demo lenses. We pop those in there. And I'm going to take your frame and put it into the tracing element of my blocker. You are number 505. I'm going to scan this into the computer. So years from now, should you ever need new lenses for this frame, I can pull up this card and this shape will be programmed into the computer and I can take care of that for you. So we're going to go ahead and hit start. A little stylus is going to pop up and it's going around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine, authentic Versace frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they are prescription or not. Manio, you know you need a prescription, so... This is the shape that we'll be cutting today, that green outline. I'm going to move it on to the next screen. Go ahead and get your lenses prepped. Your right eye reads minus 175, minus 175 at 84, minus 175, minus 175 at 84. Put the axis wheel right there. Take the lens out of the protective sleeve. Put the lens in. Actually, hang on. Put the power drum on minus 175. That is correct. Rotate the lens until the spherical component comes in clearly. That's coming in. Check your astigmatism correction. That's lining up and I'll explain all that in just a little while. I'm going to put three dots on your lenses. Oh, come on. Come on, ink. Come on, ink. Don't fail me now. One, two, three. Tell you, whoever's selling this making a killing off me. Making a killing, I tell you. I don't know how many times I need to re-ink this thing. Okay. Fresh ink time. Get everything lined up. Put three dots on there. Oh yeah, the dots are there. Of course, there's always there's always one. Doesn't want to work. So we'll darken that. And this is the right lens. I'm going to do the same thing now for the left. Minus 2, minus 150 at 74. Minus 2, minus 150 at 74. Turn it 10 degrees from 84 to 74. Take the lens out of the protective sleeve. Where are we at? Minus 2. Put the power drum on minus 2. Put the lens in. Rotate until the spherical component comes in clearly. Check your astigmatism correction. All that's lining up well. And I'm going to put three dots on the lenses. Those three dots better show up this time. This is the left lens. And let me darken this one again. And for those of you who missed anything, let me recap. <laughs> that never gets old. The reason why I put those three dots on there, it tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly. Now your pupillary distance for each eye, for the total of 62, which is 31 per eye. Back that down to 31. I'm going to raise the OC height up on this frame, if that box would ever move. And let me go ahead and check one thing here, actually get everything lined up just right. Check one thing, the lens is large enough and it is. In fact, let me just go ahead and raise that up a little bit more. Make everything nice there. Just because you're looking through the top quadrant of the lens, 
and I'm going to go ahead and up, up, up. I'm not going to go ahead. Of course, I need to put the things on. This is a block, or as I like to call them, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it's cutting, so I'm going to put two double-sided adhesive stickers. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to line up the first one there, put that on the platform, do the same thing for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Now on the back is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice today. The first time it's going to attach itself to a magnet that's in the arm to hold that there. Now let's get everything lined up again. And hit that button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the unright lens. Put that on the platform. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Your pupillary distance is the same for the left eye as it was for the right to get everything lined up. I'm going to double check one thing. We're good to go there. And hit the button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the left lens. Now this is the edger. This is what's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. It costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter, and then you can cut your own lenses at home and you won't need this guy anymore with the bad jokes to do it for you. The actual cutting wheel is this heavy grit diamond crusted wheel on the left. It's going to grind your lens down until it's the final size. This wheel in the center with that little valley is going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens. So it stays inside the bevel of the frame. So let's go ahead and wake the computer up. That is the shape we'll be cutting. These are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that, but we're going to stay there. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen in this frame anyway. I'm not going to put a bevel on the front convex surface of the lens. I'm only going to put a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. We're going to go ahead and take the right lens, press that on there firmly. Hit the green arrow to start in every language. The door closes, the clamp shuts, and then the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the lens, measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which with your prescription in this frame you will have very minimal if any and of course the nice thing about a thicker temple is it blocks the side view should you have any edge thickness now if you see light flickering in the background that is water there to catch the optical sawdust that comes off of the cutting wheel polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic high index plastic and trivex cut wet meaning the water sprays onto the lens for the entire cutting cycle now water will spray onto a polycarbonate lens for the last 20 seconds just to wash away any optical debris that you may happen to see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses. But as I mentioned, these are polycarbonate lenses right there on the packet. Polycarbonate is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lenses. The same type of material that our soldiers wear in combat zones to protect their eyes. Your lenses also have 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that you have to reapply every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun there in Bakersfield, California. This is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Now the other nice thing about your lenses they are aspheric. Aspheric simply means not spherical. A spherical lens. Does it say it on here? Spherical. A spherical lens is round in every direction. No matter where you turn, it has the same curvature. These have a flatter curvature front to fit in today's flatter curvature frames. So it also gives you a wider field of view as well as not give you that ugly cosmetic fishbowl appearance that a spherical lens would give you. Now when you buy glasses from people online they charge you for the prescription which is no bueno and then if you want the upgrade to the thinner lighter weight unbreakable impact resistant polycarbonate lenses they charge you a fee for that which again is duble no bueno and then when you want the aspheric flatter curvature lenses with the widest field of view they charge you a triple uh, third fee for that which is triple no bueno. You get that automatically free just by buying lenses from freeprescriptionlenses.com. You get someone else's top tier premium lens for free. And that's how 
I make premium the new standard. So your lens was flat, it's getting the, the bevel, the V-shaped bevel, so it stays inside the frame. Now the other nice feature about your lenses, you upgraded to the AR, it stands for anti-reflective coating. Anti-glare is three features in one. The first feature is that it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights and such. It also goes by the initials ARC, which stands for anti-reflective coating. So when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your eyes. It makes for much better eye contact. Plus, if someone takes a picture of you with a flash, or if you take a selfie, you won't see the flash of the camera in your lens. You'll just see just your eyes. So a little lever has come out. At the end of that lever is a spinning wheel, something you would find at the end of a Dremel tool that's applying the safety bevel to the rear concave surface of the lens. Now the third feature with the anti-glare is because the machine that applies the anti-glare coating costs well over a million dollars and takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens. So because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. You like that? I open the door with my mind. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can. It just takes me a couple hours of staring at it, but I can do it, y'all. Come on. Don't you believe me? Look at that. A little schwarf there. A little optical sawdust. I love it when it comes off in one piece, just like uh, when you're trying to clean the lint trap in the dryer. Now, in the old days, I would throw that right into the floor, but thanks to my wife, she has asked me to keep my new lab clean. I wipe it off the counter and then throw it in the trash underneath the counter. You're welcome, honey. She made my life better, so i got to do what she tells me to do. Plus, it's still too cold. What's the temperature? 33 degrees. Yeah, it's too cold to sleep in the driveway in the car, so I'm going to clean up after myself. Let's see if it fits first time around. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner first. Using my thumbs, I press down at the nose and it snaps right in. If we can go ahead and start cutting the left lens. We're going to flip that over to L. Press that on there very well. Hit the green arrow, which is start. And just like before, the door closes, the clamp shuts, and then the lens is going to be traced again by the two white styluses. Well, it used to be white. Artists formerly known as white styluses. You can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the lens. And just like before, it's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Look at that. No edge thickness whatsoever. None. I tell you, none, Manny. Oh, look at that. Look at that, how well that fits. That's why I use the polycarbonate lenses. Take the block off, dry that off, throw that in there. You know what I'm doing with this. Got to add to my collection. Where's a good spot for it? Usually where something's peeling away. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put it right there. We're going to thicken up the girth of this thing. So we're going to come down here to the lensometer. Clean up my mess here. Let me clean up as I go. I'm going to turn the fine tune knob back to 84. I'm going to put the lens in just above that black dot. Or actually right in the center of that black dot. And read the power. And I am getting... Where's my flashlight? Where's my flashlight? Oh, here it is. Look, I got a backup. I got a backup. So now on when this one messes up, I got to go to. Does this dial in? Nah, it doesn't. Doesn't get bigger and smaller like this one does. But I'm getting minus 175, 175, one tick mark away from two. That's because the unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter, spelled D-I-O-P-T-E-R. You're on the seventh rung of the ladder. You need seven steps of far-sighted correction. Manio, you are nearsighted with your glasses off. Everything is much too large. You can see up close, great. But beyond fingertip reach, everything starts to get blurry, so that's why there's a minus sign. Your lenses minify an object such as this down to the correct size. Now, once it's the correct size, you have another seven steps of astigmatism correction. There is a stigma over the word astigmatism. It just means shape. It's like saying someone has straight hair, someone else has curly hair. That is it. You don't freak out when you hear that, but everyone freaks out over the word astigmatism. I don't know why. It just means you have one curvature on your eye this way. You have a second curvature on your eye, which is the astigmatic curve. And it's how you line up those two curves to make everything nice and crisp. Without astigmatism correction, sixes and eights look alike with the letters P and F. So we're got, that is the fine two knob. We're going to turn that fine two knob to 84. We're on 84. Let's check your astigmatism correction. And we're ending up at minus 350, exactly halfway between 3 and 4. Why is that? 
if someone had borrowed a dollar seventy-five from you, then they borrowed another dollar seventy-five, they would end up with three fifty. That's where we're at. Minus three fifty in the red, not the black. Black or plus numbers. Red is the minus numbers. So, for your left eye, you need eight steps of far-sighted correction. So you need one step stronger. The, the top line is your right eye. The bottom line is your left. You need one step stronger of spherical component, far-sighted correction, one step less of cylinder, your astigmatic correction, and then we turn that fine-tune knob to 74. Now, these first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180. It just tells us where to turn everything nice and crisp. Now, the frame costs 220. I almost didn't write it down wrong. I tried to charge you more. I was going to say 250. No, the Versace 4296 sells for 220. No charge for your lenses, $44.99 for anti-glare for a total of $264.99 for a pair of prescription Versace's with anti-glare, custom made for you for $264.99. Unbelievable. Actually, very believable. When you get them from freeprescriptionlenses.com. So with water spraying on the lens and the safety bevel being applied to the back concave surface of the lens, we know it's almost done. Manio from MJ's Barbershop in Bakersfield, California. I want you to open the door with your mind this time. Way to go, Manio. First day on the job and you're nailing it. Nailing it. I had faith in you the whole time. I knew you could do it. Ooh, look, some more schwarf. Is it going to come off? Ah, it's not going to come off in one piece. Let me go ahead and run my thumbnail around, get the edge of this. Just like you cut hair, I cut lenses. And this is what comes off the lens when I'm cutting. Collect it all into one pile, wipe it in my hand, throw it in the trash can. You don't believe me? There it is. There's the trash can. And we're going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner first. Push down with the thumbs. It snaps right in there. The block comes off. Pull that away. Dry the block off with my hand. Where is this one going to go? Let's see. Let's see. I'm running out. You know, there's a little gap right there. Let's stick it right there. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Come down here, turn the fine tune knob, your astigmatic wheel to 74. Put it in just above that black dot. And read the power, and I am getting minus 2, exactly where it should be. 2 in the red, minus 2. You have another 150, 1.5. <laughs> I'm a loss for words, that doesn't happen very much. Another 150 of astigmatism correction. So we're going to end up with a combined value, if we're lucky, of minus 350. Turn the wheel until that comes in clearly. Look at that, minus 350 in the red, exactly halfway between 3 and 4. That is cut perfectly. If I couldn't have done a better job if I had done the work myself. So your pupillary distance is 62. I'm going to flip the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb on the right lens, and then we hold it up to the left lens. We're getting 62, so that is cut perfectly. Now this is the poor, up, 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 come on, don't fall off now, don't fall off. Put that back on there, secret agent 505. So this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And of course Bakersfield, California is in the U.S. But when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame is three. I press them on the counter, set them on the counter, and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take mine off and I set them on the counter, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Again, for anyone keeping score at home, I'm wearing the Versace 3199 in color blue tortoise. It has the, the same pattern that you have on the side, which is known as the Greco pattern. I have very small ones of those grooved into the side of my both of my temples. Mine is the blue and the tortoise. To match my blue and tortoise I've always got to be matching but let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing here make sure that's off flip this over press down there is no wobble I close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly check every temple make sure they're not askew like that check the tension on each hinge that feels good 
So if you like what you've seen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see more of them. Or you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram as FreePrescriptionLenses.com. You can see other pictures on Twitter at FreeRxLenses. If anyone has any questions, you can email me at FreePrescriptionLenses at gmail.com or simply click the Contact Me button on the website. Or better yet, leave a comment down below in the comment section below the description of the video so someone else can learn from your inquisitive nature. But Manny O in Bakersfield, California at MJ's Barbershop. I hope you enjoyed watching as I cut prescription lenses with anti-glare for your Versace. Come on, flashlight. Come on, flashlight. See, you're making me go to my spare here. It is the Versace 4296, color 5079 in the matte black in the 58 eye size. And hopefully everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.